All right, here's the deal. Your sister and I will be getting in late tomorrow night, so I need you three to behave. And you better not give Angeline any problem, all right? Don't worry, Dad. We won't scare off your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Are you? Wait. Hi, how you doing? Are you or do you know a Percy Miller? Yeah, he's my dad. Sign here. Why? Because Pop's new 64-inch Diamond Star Television has just arrived. Oopsie. We got a problem here. You don't happen to have a loading dock in the backyard, do you? <laughs> Dad! Yo, so I need you guys to be in the house on time. I also need you to be in bed on time. No problem, Dad. But tomorrow night, Riley's coming over for the Sonic game. Boy, I really got to know you guys together before you start having friends over on the school night. You only been in high school for two weeks. Dad, I'm already ahead on my homework in Miss Phipps' class. Geography. I had a pop quiz on Mount Rainier, the sixth tallest peak in North America, which I aced. Tomorrow I get my first algebra test back. I aced it. Uh, Dad, there is a little man with a big TV downstairs. A new TV? And we gotta get going. How big is it? Can we put it in our room? No, no, that's my TV. Just put it back on the truck and bring me back a 52 inch, all right? Sorry, I I'm just a delivery guy, so I deliver. What you're suggesting, technically, that would be a pickup. You can call the 800 number and they can help you. My Seattle Supersonics on Diamond Star. <laughs> nice. There's no way I'm signing for a TV that can't even fit in my doorway. Excuse me, Dad, but we gotta go. We should have left a half an hour ago. Uh, why don't I handle this? Thanks, Rob. You take the TV to the garage, you guys finish your homework, and you give me a goodnight kiss so you and Jody can get to the motel in time to get a good night's rest for that college fair tomorrow morning. Sound good? Yeah. Just for me. Thanks, Angeline. Bye. Bye. Girl, you know you're good. I know. I love you. I love you, too. Kiss her, Dad. Kiss her. Sure, this is the right way. It feels like the wrong way. Dad, I've got the map. It's right this way. Okay. My baby girl off to college, huh? <laughs> Not yet, Dad. We're just here at this college fair to see what the different schools have to offer. Yeah, and they better offer up a lot because my baby girl ain't going to no low rent college. You heard me? Dad. Are you nervous about something? Because you've been acting kind of weird. I'm just being me, as usual. <laughs> OK, well, you know we're not making any decisions today, so you can relax. I mean, this your deal, baby girl. I'm just here for backup. I want to commend a few of you for doing quite well. Acknowledge the rest of you for doing your best. And one of you will be seeing me after class. According to this brochure, we're going to get 64 inches of up-close and personal hoop action. We'll be watching an actual side. <laughs> My cousin's coming. His name's Todd, but he's not that bad. I don't know. My dad's out of town. His girlfriend, Angeline, is watching this. Perfect. No problem. Girlfriends don't make the rules.
Hey, Mr. Frank, I didn't get my test bag. That's because I have it right here. An F plus? I gave you the plus because you spelt your name right. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Not a very auspicious start to your high school career. Didn't you study the sample question at the end of chapter one? I thought I did. My dad's going to kill me. Do you think I'm too young for the witness protection program? Listen, I'll make you a deal. I'm in. And I'll let you take a makeup test tomorrow. Thanks, Mr. Frank. I'm on it. No, seriously, Romeo. I know you can nail this thing. You've got some hard work ahead of you tonight. Dude, you tanked this thing. I mean, I've never seen an actual F before. Not to mention the plus. I can't believe it. Who uses algebra anyway other than professional algebraians? Hey, Romeo! You want to spring any snackage? Who's that guy? That's cool. It's covered. That's Brendan. Snackage? I opened up the guest list a little bit. And even better, Derek Smith gave us these cream sodas. They don't leave me hanging. How about it for the cream soda? Riley, I can't do tonight. Don't even go there. I got a makeup test to worry about. You think you're not going to get into college because you flunked some tests in the ninth grade? College? If I flunk another test, I won't live long enough to worry about college. Bro, at this moment, you were on the verge of being the coolest new freshman at McDaniel High. If you back out now, you'll be branded a chump for the next four years. The man makes a point. Of course I do. I see you at 7 o'clock. Okay. Let's look at the facts. I know I flunked the test. You know I flunked the test. But there's no way Angeline's gonna know I flunked the test. He flunked the test? Wow. Okay. No, no, I, I appreciate the call, Mr. Frank. And it's very generous of you to give Romeo a retest. Okay. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. What you got there? Cream soda. Want one? Eh, maybe later. That was Mr. Frank, your algebra teacher. Oh, yeah. He's gonna let me take a retest. Isn't that nice? That's great. Yeah. Right after the game, I'll definitely do a quick review. <laughs> whoa, whoa, quick review? Mr. Frank seems to think you have a big night of studying ahead of you. Ange, Ange, Ange. This is freshman algebra here. Roll, roll, roll. What's your point? I'm thinking we just let this be one of those little secrets between a kid and his dad's super cool, understanding, sympathetic, fine girlfriend. Did I mention fine? Yeah, you did. And when I'm older, out of the house with my own family, I'll come back for Thanksgiving and we'll tell the story about the time old cool age let Romeo watch the Sonic game instead of studying. So, what you think? Um... No. Edge, please! Don't get wrapped up in this parenting thing. It's a thankless job. You know, you're probably right. I'll just call your dad and see what he's got to say about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. No need to make him upset. Guess I'll be studying tonight. Now, Jody, Sequoia University not only has a great liberal arts program, but its close proximity to the beautiful beach is also a selling point that a lot of our students seem to really go for. How close is it? Excuse me? The beach. How close is it? Um, it's about a mile. A mile? You call that close? <laughs> well, it is if she has a car. Oh, you gonna pay for a car? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, a bike then. Oh, so my daughter supposed to ride up and down some road on a rinky-dinky bike? What if it caught a flat? Are you gonna be there to fix it? Dad, please. <laughs> I read in your literature that you have a semester abroad program. That's right. We have an exchange program right now with the University of London. Oh, so my daughter supposed to ride all the way across the ocean to London on a bicycle? Mm. Will you two excuse me? I... Dad, what are you doing? I'm just looking out for my baby girl. That's what fathers do. Most fathers should stay in the background and let me handle all of my college interviews, okay? Okay. Whatever. 20, 30, 40, 
45, 46. Oh, okay. There you go. 47. That's all I got. You said 50. I know I said 50, but I have 47. You gonna do it or not? You owe me three bucks. Are we really going through with this? Of course. Look, when I get a rep as cool as freshman, you'll automatically be cool by association. So what are we waiting for? Signing song three. One, two. Three bucks. You owe me three bucks. Aye. Now let's just synchronize our watches. It's on. Okay, let's get you upstairs. Come on, let's go. Well, Gary's not feeling very well, so I'm gonna take him upstairs, okay? Feel better, little man. Oh, oh. oh don't worry, I'll get it. Probably a salesman. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Welcome, gentlemen, to nice Diamond Star screening of the Seattle Sonics vs. Utah Jazz preseason opener will take place in the garage. Yeah, right. Riley, if you please, here you go. Mr. Miller, you are the man. <laughs> Absolutely. Let me jump back there. Well, this is going to be so cool. Fellas are loving it. Heck, I'm loving it. <laughs> hey, Romeo, these are the best eats I've ever had, man. <laughs> How we doing, Lord? And you better give Gary those three bucks, because he's earning every penny of that 50. But it was the only way he could solve the mystery. At How'd you rig this like that, anyways? Well, I just ran an RF cable from the back of the camera in Ireland to the back of the Diamond Star. And there's a switcher on the control panel. So then I just ran a fire wire over this little guy. Muy impresivo. Thanks. <laughs> Yo, dude. Looks like story time is over. Oh, no. Rose is hit. Hey, how's it going down here? I think I'm getting it. How's he doing up there? Gary's not the strongest of the Millers. No, yeah, no, I'm, I'm starting to worry a little bit because he doesn't have any symptoms, but he's just really dramatic. <laughs> oh, uh, don't pay any attention to that. All us Millers are dramatic when we're sick. <laughs> he probably just needs someone to watch him, you know? <laughs> Did I mention that Gary's not the strongest of the Millers? <laughs> oh, and uh, don't worry about my studying. I'll call you if I need any help. <laughs> Romeo, 
Thanks for being so responsible and making this easy for me. You know, it's your dad gone and your brother sick. I don't know what I would do if you weren't cooperating, so I really appreciate it. I, I, no problem. Transcripts look fantastic, Jody. Your GPA is great. I think Waddell College would be lucky to. What? Excuse me. I'm sorry. Do you know that man? Yes, I do. He's my father. Oh, well, would he like to join us? Oh, no. Uh, no. It, it's quite a ride. He's just along for the ride. Oh. Okay. Well, so what questions do you have for me regarding our school? Well, I'm on the volleyball team at my high school, and I'm thinking about going out for the team in college. What conference does Waddell play in? Uh, the Fighting Salukis compete in the Mid-America. Hold up. Did you just say the Fighting Salukis? Yeah. That's right. A Saluki is one of the oldest breeds of dogs in the world, dating back to ancient Egypt. <laughs> oh, an old dog. That's so intimidating. Baby, you don't want to go to a school named the Fighting Salukis. You know how easy it is for the kids to make fun of a name like that? Mr. Kinglip, thank you for your time. By any chance, y'all change our name to the Wildcats. Oh! 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 You know, the game is almost over. <laughs> I don't know. Why? Just curious. Oh! You ever going to be a mom? I don't know. Why? I think you might be good at it. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Hmm. That's strange. There's no temperature. Are you still feeling feverish? Uh, no. But your tummy still hurts. Yeah. Oh, oh. You know, it might not be such a bad idea to run you down to the emergency room so the doctor can give you a shot. A shot? Why? I don't need a shot. Wait a second. It's a miracle! I'm starting to feel better! This is great news! Oh, sweetie, you don't have to pretend with me. I'll just call your doctor and have him meet us at the emergency room. But... Get some rest. Romeo's right. But of course, he knows all about equations because he's been studying his algebra all night. <laughs> Look at the time. I gotta get going home. You know what? I'm gonna go show them the door. I, I thought you... I know what you thought. You thought Pops is away, so I'll just put one over on gullible, naive, unsuspecting Angeline. <laughs> Don't forget to mention fine. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I guess it is <laughs> sort of funny. <laughs> What's so funny about it? Funny, cause you you know, I went through all this trouble and I I, I, I don't know. What's funny about it? What's funny is that you thought you could get away with it. You know, I wonder if your dad would think it's funny, too. <laughs> but, but, Ange, I can't do it all. Me and algebra, 
We don't get along so good. It's so easy. For example, if X plus working hard equals passing your test, what's the X factor? Me? See? Told you it was easy. Now here. And that's the game. Utah Jazz 97, Seattle Supersonics 96. We'll be right back to recap. You know, Derek Fisher went to the University of North Carolina. Did his dad make him go there? So I'm picky. Picky? You told the guy from Princeton that he had on a bad tie. <laughs> Who wears a yarn tie anymore? And do you really think the rep from the University of Miami cares that you read an article on the killer ants in Florida? Okay, I'm sorry. I talked to 18 reps and the only one you liked was Seattle University. Do you really think I want to go to a school that's only a half a mile from where I live? Okay, this here's some more box scores. Daddy, is this because you don't want me to leave? You just seem so ready. I don't know if I am. Everything went fine. The boys, they were great. Just like their father. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> I can't, I'm, I'm not alone. Okay, I love you too. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a couple hours, bye. Does this look right? Yeah, I get it. I finally get this now. Congratulations. How come you didn't tell my dad what I did tonight? I think everybody gets one get out of jail free card. And you just used yours. Okay. Now give me a hug and get on up to bed. Here's your hug. But first, we want to make you a nice cup of tea. Chamomile is your favorite, right? Right, right. Thanks. Huh. Huh. Gary, what are you doing? Where are my three dollars? It's your birthday, Simon says stop, but Rome said go. I'm the first hip hop kid with my own TV show. Woo! Everybody dance to shake it like that. You doing good in school, work it like that. You love Romeo, holla back, cuz Nickelodeon's where I'm at. Okay. Hey, bro, watch the flow. It's time for the Romeo show. Holla, Romeo, no, now. Romeo, no, now. Stop what you're doing, cuz Romeo, no, now. Hey, bro. It's time for the Romeo Show, Halloween.